Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into a responsive menu in React and the first thing would be that we have the, this menu and we would like it to be responsive so that when you change the size of the screen you would like to have a mobile menu appear so that you can trigger it on mobile devices and so on. Alright, so the first thing is to essentially add some media queries so you will have to determine when you want to jump into the mobile menu in our case, we want to do it at 380 pixels because we figured that that's probably when the menu will not be as readable as, as it should be. So we define the, the media query that we have. We say once it, it has the max width of 380 pixels, we want some CSS to be attached to it. So first and foremost, we want to hide the menu items. Secondly, we will probably want to have a trigger. So we would have a, um, a ter a alternative thing. So we'd have the the trigger here so let's just for now just call it trigger this one is going to be named let's give it a, a short class or menu items trigger let's also move it outside of the the list menus because this one is going to be hidden right so we can just uh, like this so we have the menu trigger in this case and what we want to do now is we we want to go in here and we're going to say once it touches this breakpoint, we want to show it. Otherwise, as a default, we want it to be hidden because we don't want to show the mobile trigger on desktop devices, obviously. So you see, when we hit a certain breakpoint, which is 380 pixels, it will automatically add the trigger. This one should most likely be a burger menu in the future, but let's go ahead with this. So we have the trigger, and now when we click on the trigger, we want to do some logic, right? So when we click on it, we essentially want to show the mobile menu, right? So the, the first thing we can do is we can add a, a prop. So we'd say is open, and we would do like this. And as a default, we want it to have false. So we'll import it from React. And this is now a property we can use. So whenever we click on, whenever we click on this item, we want it to toggle the menu. All right. So we'll create a, a function called toggle menu. This one will be quite easy actually. So what we want to do in this case is we're going to set the state to be toggled. The reason to why we have a function like this and not setting it immediately is because if you mass click the button and in, in, for some reason didn't fetch the, the value, now it will look at the previous value instead of looking at what was when, when the function was triggered. So if you do like this, we will see we'll, uh, we'll have a property and on this property we would like to have a class here. So here we would like to probably add another class if it would be open so we can just go ahead and do like this so we can concatenate a bit of strings here so we'd say is if it's open let's just add a class it's open otherwise don't do anything and we can just preview the menu so when we click on it it should automatically have is open so whenever we open trigger it you see it will have the is open whenever it's clicked so now we can add a CSS class, essentially overriding this here. So if we are clicking on it and it has the is open class, we want to have display blocks because we want to preview the menu whenever we click on it. As you can see, now we're triggering the menu. It does not look good at all, so we need to solve this. And the first thing we could do is essentially just moving this li element to here. And, and in immediately we would see that it will trigger the mobile menu in this way. And whenever we go back to the large screen, you'll see that it still pops the menu. So going to smaller, it will hide it and you will have the trigger here. So now we could add probably more CSS to make it mu look much more nice. You could probably have a like border top to make like a divider here to, to make sense so that you can see that this, this is the mobile menu and so on. And this, my friends, is how you create a mobile menu in React. Thanks for watching. All the best.